Keith Langford never met the late Alfonso Ford, but circumstances helped create a kinship between the two great scorers. And when Langford was awarded the 2013-14 Alfonso Ford Top Scorer Trophy at the Turkish Airlines Euroleague Final Four in Milan, Italy, it was as if a cycle had been completed. Uh, ten years ago, uh, when I was coming out of school, uh, you know, my agent <clears throat> uh, told me that I reminded him a lot of Alfonso Ford. Uh, you know, he formerly represented Alfonso, and uh, he told me that uh, I was one of the best natural scorers that he had seen since, since Alfonso. It didn't take long for Langford to learn about Ford, a two-time EuroLeague scoring champion and three-time All-EuroLeague selection, who lost his life to leukemia in 2004 at the age of 32. One year later, the EuroLeague named its new top scorer trophy in honour of Ford. After I did some research and, and found out who he was, I told my agent that one day I would win you know, this, this trophy as well. Even though Langford has averaged more points than any other EuroLeague player over the past decade, getting his hands on the Ford Trophy was no easy task. I had a, few, a couple of chances uh, in the EuroLeague to, to win the award, but uh, I think a couple of seasons, you know, my team didn't make it past the, uh, the first phase of the EuroLeague. So uh, obviously it was disappointing that we lost, but at the same time, you know, in the back of my mind, it was always a goal to, uh, you know, at least one time win, win the award in, in his honor. Especially, you know, the last few years of my career, I, I know really well his story and everything he went through, so uh, it was really important to me. Last season, Langford averaged 17.6 points over 24 games for EA7 Emporio Armani Milan to finally win the Ford Trophy. And once he did, he connected with Ford's family to pay tribute to the legendary scorer's memory. The best thing I could do is just, you know, make mention of it and, and, and share and try and share the honor with his son and, and my agent and, and his family. So, um, you know, for them, uh, I can only imagine, you know, what, what they had to go through. So for me, just you know, the little bit that I could give back, you know, it was I was happy to do that. Though Ford had passed away before Langford began his career in Europe, Langford, now pouring in points for Unix Kazan, has made a point of finding videos to watch Ford play. As a player, I, I just like the fact that he was always aggressive, always attacking, you know, good moments, bad moments. You know, he was always himself, and he always, you know, was, was attacking, and guys always had to be uh, worried about him on the floor at all times. Langford appreciates the gesture made by EuroLeague Basketball to name its top scorer trophy in Ford's memory. I think it says a lot about him as a man, uh, and, and it goes to show you that, um, you know, when you play the game the right way and uh, you play with your heart, that, you know, you're respected across borders. You know, you're respected at home, you're respected in Europe, you're respected by European players, American players. So, uh, you know, I think it's a huge honor. Langford is now six seasons into what has been a brilliant Euroleague career, and the perspective gained over that time puts him in an ideal place to recognise Ford's contributions and what it means to now be among the proud winners of the Ford Trophy. When you think of Americans coming to play at a high level in Europe, you know, he's one of the first names that, that come to mind. So to have an award uh, named after him and to win that award, it just kind of puts you in line with a lot of the, the best American players to, to play in Europe. And as he continues his scoring rampage across Europe, Langford is certainly deserving of his place in that line.